Opinion on blocking. Do you mean body blocking as killer or survivor? If you're body blocking your teammate, you're a real plonker. If you're body blocking as killer to rev your chainsaw, it's as, um, you know, to rev your chainsaw because it's a 2.2 second charge and you body block a survivor to stop momentum or stopping them getting a pallet. Perfectly good strat. Perfectly good strat. But if you're actually body blocking a teammate, you're probably a real sack of potatoes for lack of a better term. Alright, there should be a chest in here, to my right-hand side. No, it's to my left-hand side, all the way over there. I was mispositioned myself. I see Jono, I hear a heartbeat, this is fine. I can hear someone working on the generator above me too. It's a leather face, fantastic. 115% moving speed, blow with a chainsaw. 2.5 second chainsaw rev, respecting pallets, big mistake. When that pallet comes down, so does this flashlight. Jono's gonna throw it now. Jono took a hit, so he's not gonna bother throwing the pallet. I'm gonna let him see me and cycle past. Good, he actually cared. Now he knew Jono ran around this a few times. I'm not, and I'm gonna hit him with a blind. And we're gonna play this a bit differently. He never even broke the pallet. I'm gonna let him see me, so he piles around, stalling this a little bit longer, and I'm just gonna cycle up into the shack. That was a dumb, dumb mistake. I'm gonna take a hit, I think, because I paused a little long. That's fine, I'm gonna be able to make it in time. And I just recycled it a couple of times, that's good. I know where the window is in here, he's 115% moving speed. The player's through the window and blind him. Or I can make him lunge right now. And just like that, I'm gonna be able to cycle through the window and hopefully not get hit and actually blind him on the opposite end of the window. I was a little bit slow, I got it though, that's fine. He's got bamboozled, I fucking shit myself now. Alright, straight for the pallet, I'm gonna take a hit though. He's not gonna land this. Not unless he's got beast marks or something. Nope, he's holding it too long and I'm gonna cycle all the way around. All that came down to, because I baited him in with the flashlight, for the swing. He's gone around it, he's really mispositioned himself. Make your decision, dude. Yeah, let it go to go for the pallet and I'll cycle away. Cool, so I'm gonna cycle up here. He thought I was gonna vault over the pallet again. Now if he commits to this chase, he's made a big mistake. This is all about, I found a flashlight, I didn't bring it in, I'm using it to adapt my skills and my gameplay in towards to better incorporate it. Now I can see that we got one generator completed, I'm back here, half, half flashlight use left. So it, flashlights are just about blinding someone to save an ally. That is the highest skill you can have as a flashlight. You can use it on windows, you can use it on vaults. What did I learn from that entire time? I learned he respects, he doesn't have enduring, he does have bamboozled. Now, knowing these kind of things can better benefit me when I play against him. Knowing he has bamboozled, meaning if I'm at a normal jungle gym, he's probably going to try and seal the window, and I can play in accordance to that before we actually get to the loot. I know I have a decent jungle gym here. I want to take an M1 so I have Dead Hard available. I don't want to get chainsawed. Having Dead Hard, I could spin a saw. Much more easier than not having Dead Hard. I shouldn't have missed that skill check. I should have learned all greats. I missed two then. It's a bit of a rookie mistake from me. I'm going to head in. I know my ally should be all the way down here. He isn't. He's going to have rotated to that. He's on one of these two generators. There's no way Red cycled and didn't start work on one of these two. Unless he's breaking a totem. If we're going to start working on this, then we're going to head up there. Now, I know he's in chase with somebody completely different, and we're playing this to better benefit the game and understand the loop. Now, did you see my bait out with the flashlight? That is a very common mistake a lot of killers make, because they think you're going to commit to the flashlight, and they lunge too early. If you are blinded, you cannot lunge. You just tap your M1, pretty much, even if you hold the button. I hear vaulting on my jungle gym to my right. I'm assuming he's right here. Correct? Cool. So he's going to see me. I'm going to make sure I wait on the corner for him. Now he's seen me. Remember, he has... He has bamboozled. I'm waiting for him to step the window, which he did, and now I'm gonna cycle away. Because I knew bamboozled, I made it my perk, not the killer's perk. I knew what he was gonna do before he did it. Waited on the corner for him to do it. He revealed that he had bamboozled, and he used that to try and mind game me, as opposed to I just used the line of sight. You understand how that worked? That's twice he's made a bad play, and I've called it out on how he's done it. Red should go into the shack. I should rotate around here. He's going to have to kick that. Blow it down. He did neither. Are you kidding me, dude? This is not a loop. I'm going to go around one more time and then vault the window. If Red's coming through, I'm waiting here for a flashlight blind at the pallet. Red is not coming through. I'm going to go all the way right back down and work on this generator now. So all this is right now is coming down to situational awareness and paying attention and understanding my opponent. Know what he does, know what he is doing and how I'm going to be able to mind read and counter him. That's all it comes down to. It's just a game of chess. It's just a game of chess. That is all it is, guys. This poor killer, it just shows you the difference between 16,000 hours and 1,500. Right, he might have no ed now, which could be a complete game changer. 
see him in the distance. I'm going to be able to tell. He moves at 115% movement speed without bloodlust. Somebody over there already? They're not. Okay, I'm going to get hit with Noed here because there is nothing to rotate. If he doesn't have Noed, it only has a store. I can make plays. 32 meter heartbeat. I should be able to react in time and at least get somewhere. I'm paying attention as well in the distance. We know which arc he's in. I can see he's in chase of my obsession in the bottom left-hand corner. Mick, and we're about to find out if he has Noed. Noed one, lad. Noed one. Beautiful. So let's have a little bit of a look right now and go to the left-hand side and check the corners right now for Noed. Might have barbecue and chili, so I'm going to stand in front of this as if I'm still breaking, the, unlocking this door. I should have left it at about 80% to anticipate, never mind. Somebody broke Noed. I'm going to cycle right back in. He's carrying someone. Might be to the basement in front of an exit gate. I can save against this leather face if I play my cards right. I'm waiting for dead hard. As you can see, I'm walking in. I'm not intimidated by the fact I'm going to flashlight him. He's going to let his chainsaw go. I'm going to make him hit my ally and then do a hook save through my ally. That is the... Uh, uh, never mind. My ally has already beaten me there. I knew what I needed to do and when I needed to do it. Oh, he spun it as well. He wants to get hit, though, because of... You're an absolute gun! Okay, now we're just a bit thirsty, mate. Two allies, healing him up. Stop crawling, mate. Stop crawling. Stop crawling, you big donut. Two allies could have healed him up in time. Gonna let him see me here. He looked up and he went for the door. That is fine. You can't... You can't do much here, buddy. I can come into this and spin him in there more so than... I have my flashlight. I mispositioned myself. I should have let an ally do that. We can save this. I don't want to leave scratches around the right. He already ran around the right. That's okay. Coming in with a face cam. That's fine. Gonna let the sword come up. Here's the play chat. I'm gonna run right past. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. It's a bit fucking hard, chat, when he's sitting like that, isn't it? I don't have much of my flashlight left. Dwight's, Dwight's crazy as fuck. Patron's over. Go in. I took an M1. Not too fast. Hatch is right here. If we all get out, he's got the hatch. I don't have enough flashlight to go for the save. If we all leave, he's got the hatch, man. Oh, early dead heart. I'm coming in right now to try and come in with my dead heart. Fuck, heal him up. Heal him up, mate. Heal him up. And he's ran away. I think he's given up on this. This is, this is healed. This is done. He, he committed too much to that chase. I'm going to dead hard before he DCs. Alright. And that was just a casual game. I didn't get any real opportunities to flashlight save unless I had one at the end then. And unfortunately, I didn't really have one at the end. But like always, chat, whether we win or we lose, I'm all about good sportsmanship. So we're going to come in with that, that GG to say... GG, well play. He might have had a hard game. I want to make sure he knows at least we're coming in with the, a little bit of love and respect for him because it can be hard to be a killer main. Believe me, I know. Uh, it just comes down to um, kudos to him for uh, 